Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. It's Kroken today. We're going to be going over how to complete the Cluck and Bell raid the fastest way possible, all while making $500,000 in less than an hour. So if you're new here, smash that subscribe button to join the Crow crew and like the video to help with the algorithm. Let's get into it. So you're probably wondering, how can I start the Cluck and Bell raid? You are going to get a call from your phone from Vincent and essentially just answer the call. And as you can see on the screen right here, I am at the destination it's a giant v with yellow and all you have to do is go right there it's a contact mission so make sure you go right here and we're gonna go right into it so go to the yellow portal click the right arrow and essentially you could do this by yourself so i'm gonna put the heart setting on you do it by yourself like i said you want to have all your ammo body armor that you could buy possible and have the best weapons possible so we're going to confirm settings play we're going to launch it by ourselves so this is slush fund vincent here so we're going to skip past even the little cutscenes and just get to the meat of the video so this is the fastest how-to guide for the cluck and bell raid all right so essentially we have to go to the money laundering businesses here so it's a and b there's a vehicle right there and you can't have your mk2 sadly so i'm gonna drive to a right on the map right over there and meet you guys over there as we go to the money laundering place there are some npcs you're going to have to take out i usually have the combat mg and also my assault shoddy there so either or will help you get through this so just take the people out or using a little grenade launcher action and simply just take out all the NPCs. Super, super easy, and you're going to get RP doing it. So like I said, you wanna have food, body armor, and your best weapons when doing this, and you won't have a problem getting through here. So we're gonna to go to that little portal, click the right arrow, and we're going in. So as you can see, steal the cash, but also take out any NPCs. So as you see right here, it's going to be the first washing machine right there. We're gonna start stealing the cash, and we're simply just going to be putting the cash in the bag, pressing X rapidly. There's also going to be an NPC that's going to try to take you out there, and you'll just have to take that NPC out and get more money. The next one is at the end, so we're gonna start looting right there, and all you have to do is click X and start stealing even more cash. And once that is done, you're simply just going to exit the business here and Exit the business at the blue portal right over here. Click the right arrow. Take out any other NPCs and you're gonna be going to the next business. Make sure your body armor and health are still up. And we're simply just going to drive over to money laundering business B. We are at B right here. So you wanna get out of your car because there's going to be a lot of NPCs. And make sure you have your weapons that you want out. I recommend you doing is hiding behind any wall barrier and just take your time with it. And you do not want to die because if you go in there, there's, like I said, there's a ton of NPCs and it got me one time. I mean, you could use a new tube. That's what you do right here is boom, new tube in there and blow up stuff. You just want to take cover, take your time. A lot of NPCs. If you do die, you do start over. So at the most recent checkpoint and it gets annoying if you do die. So just blow this up here, boom, and you are ready to go. And it's just that easier at B right here with the shoddy on, like I said, and went over in the video. And we are inside at B. This mission is so easy to the point. You don't have to do it on hard difficulty, but if you do want to maximize your money, you should probably do it on hard difficulty. So as you can see on the screen here, there's three green dots. You have to be careful of noobs coming in or NPCs I should say. So you quickly wanna grab the cash from each. We are done with the first one and then we go to the second one. Be careful of any NPCs coming in because you are grabbing and doing more of the mission there. So just quickly press X and you are grabbing all of the cash. And the last one is over at the end right here and we're just gonna grab the cash and be on our way. It's that easy, hard difficulty slush fun super easy the point smash that subscribe button like the video for everything related to gta 5 and 6 there and boom we stole cash from business b so all we have to do is go right in here go to the blue little portal and exit now we got to take out a few more npcs and happily we'll be on our way there's going to be people in cars trying to come after you get in your vehicle 
and deliver the cash to Vincent's lockup. So I'll meet you guys over there. We're heading into the lockout right here. Almost hit a guy in his little sweater there. So we're just gonna drive on in and go to the yellow portal and boom, we deliver the cash. We're gonna see how much money you do make here. Give me a little cutscene. and mission has passed on hard difficulty. So we're gonna say JP 15, RP 2,371. Step on the Cluck and Bell farm raid. We have the setup breaking and entering. We're gonna click into that. All I have to do is just go back to the police and go to hard difficulty. I mean, for the walkthrough, I'm gonna do hard difficulty to show you cash and RPs 1.5 times. Purchase all ammo and make sure you have body armor and food. And we're just going to play, you do it by yourself, just like any of these missions. So we're gonna go into this breaking and entering Vincent. All right, for this, you cannot use your MK2. Have your best weapons available on and we're gonna go to the terabyte or laptop there so i'll meet you guys over there i'm probably gonna go over to the terabyte and we'll see you guys over there all right so now we're gonna use the image sent by vincent to view the hackers terabyte so we're gonna go into this open the image there as you can see it search the area for the terabyte I'm gonna fast forward and show you guys where the terabyte is when I do find it. All right, so right here there is drone. So I took out the first drone right over here. So it will be a part of the terabyte. The terabyte is right here essentially in this area. So I'm right here, you just go up this little street, see where the highway is and you just take out the drones. There's one right over there and you just wanna take it out and then boom, destroyed the drones. Actually, there's more drones. So we just have to take those out. You just have your shoddy ready and you just keep taking them out and just like that. They will be attacking you, but it's not going to be that crazy of damage. I would actually probably have the MG on and just keep destroying the drones as they come out. It's usually like five or six. So we're gonna enter the terabyte right here. Actually, we have to go around it. So we're gonna go around, go through the blue portal and like I said, I'm gonna enter the terabyte. It was super easy. And now we just have to go to the green arrow and steal the hijacking device. Boom, we got it. So now we just have to go to the blue portal, exit the terabyte. And again, on the map here, this is where the terabyte is. You're gonna go up the street and boom, the terabyte is right there. So now we have to go over to the laptop. So I'll meet you guys over there. So now we have an image. We are gonna go and look. So we have to find this person, the blue light shirt with the black pants there. So I'm gonna fast forward and show you guys where that person is at. All right, so over here is where we found the actual laptop by the circle. Person's right over here and the laptop's right here. So we're gonna steal it and we got it. We stole the laptop and there's gonna be one angry fellow that's going to be mad and they're basically running away. So all I have to do is just steal a car right over here or just take your car wherever it's at. I'm just gonna take this one right here. All right, so we just have to go to the cartel's compound. So I'll meet you guys over there. It's just following the yellow path to the yellow portal. All right, now we have to take out the cartel to find the key here. So essentially we just have to take out all of the people that are red circular circles on the map here. So we're just gonna take these out. That's a cartel. This is kind of like leading up to GTA 6. We're gonna have cartel. Let's get into this train right here and let's take cover. And you do not want to die because then you'll have to restart. Let's get some noob tubes up in here. Get everyone all excited. And there's a person up top and they're done. All right, so we found the key right here. So like I said, you want to get into the actual train and make sure you have body armor. So we got it. We're going to steal the train here. So just take out any more NPCs. You do not want to die. Like I said, we can finally drive the train after so many years. And just take out some more NPCs. And we're gonna make our way on the train. We're gonna press triangle and get up on the train. And we're gonna drive this bad boy here. So let's do it, steal the train. And we're going to escape with the train. I guess we're gonna have to just sit on this and just click R2, that's essentially it. All right, so now we're gonna have to hack the train signal. So hacking cooldown and we're hacking the cooldown right here. We're gonna keep going with escaping with the train. So you just have to hack any of the terminal. You're just gonna keep stepping through this and anything that pops up, you have to click the right arrow. All right, so we just have to hack the train signal right here. Click and hold the right arrow and Boom, we are good, hacking cooldown. We gotta escape with the train. We're gonna keep going on our journey here. We have a helicopter that's interesting. You can run over the helicopter and the train is totally fine. So that's kind of funny. So we're just gonna keep hacking the terminals, keep driving the train. As you see that like little kind of like red circle there, you just wanna slow down a little bit and click the right arrow and keep it going with hacking. 
and you want to go to your health and armor and keep going with the body armor and snacks. Just keep it going with that. Keep your health up. The cartel is going to be trying to take you out, so you're going to have to run over any of these people on the tracks here. All right, mission has passed. We got through it. It's kind of cool to drive the train. wasn't the greatest mission, but we got 2,914 RP for doing the mission. For the next raid, we're going to go to the police station. It's always going to start here, right arrow, and we're going to go into set up concealed weapons right here. Hard difficulty for the max amount of RP and money. We're going to purchase all ammo, super body, super heavy armor, and confirm the settings and play. Alrighty, with this, just get into the car right over here and wait for the directions on where to go. So go to one of the weapons and gear locations. So we're gonna go to B right over here. Actually, let's just go to A right here. It's not as far, we don't have to go in the water. So we're gonna go to A right over there. We'll meet you guys over there. Alrighty, so we have to steal a set of weapons and gear. So get your best weapons right over here and start taking these noobs out. So you wanna kinda hide behind cars and take all these people out. So you do not wanna die because if you do, you will restart at the beginning or at the latest checkpoint. So we are taking all these people out. As you can see, there's a noob right over here and you just take them out. And you just wanna be careful of not dying. Like I said, get behind cars, get behind any walls and it'll do just fine. So we're gonna fast forward, taking out all these NPCs and getting the gear. Alrighty, so the weapons should be over here. We just have to find them. So steal a set of weapons. So right here, acquire the Marabunta Grenade Lotout. Grenade Lotout. Compact rifle, compact pistol, mini SMG. So we're gonna take that. So I like butchering names there. And we're gonna go into the car and we are going to go to another location, I believe, right over here. We have to go to all three, steal a bag of gear. We just did that. So now we have to steal a bag of gear. So we just have to follow the yellow arrow here and go to that yellow checkpoint. All right, so now we just have to deliver the equipment to Vince's lockup right here. So, and now we have to go to one of the weapons and gear locations. We delivered some equipment there. So now I'm gonna go over to B and we're gonna see what equipment and gear they have over there. All right, we're at B right here, so we just have to get on the jet ski and go over there, and I'll show you guys how to get the gear and weapons. There's gonna be a lot of NPCs here, so get your best weapons out, along with keeping your health up. I almost just died right there, and we'll be just fine. You just wanna get to the front of the boat there while taking out the NPCs. Just use food, and you gotta be quick because the helicopter is on the way. So the gear over here you want to get to you want to get to this area right over here which is the middle of the boat on the first level and we're going to grab the professional gear if i can actually get there you want to get it and click the right arrow so we stole some unmarked weapons and then over here you just want to click the right arrow and grab the weapons right there so it's really really simple to the point guys keep your body armor on and health mine are kind of draining quickly there. So I'm going to take a jet ski and deliver the equipment to Vince's lockup. So now we just have to drive to Vince's lockup, which is the yellow path here to the yellow. So delivering more equipment to Vince's lockup there. So we delivered two objects. So we're going to text Vincent and confirm the equipment there. So weapons, you want to do all of that and then gear. So confirm. Once you texted all of that, and then we'll wait and see what we have to do next. All right, so mission passed on that, super easy and to the point. And we're gonna see how much RP, so 2,902 RP. Heading into the next mission right here, go into the portal, and now we're gonna do set up, hit, and run. Gonna be on hard difficulty right here. Purchase all ammo, super heavy armor, and also have a lot of food, the most you can get. So we're gonna continue on our journey doing this, so hit and run. All right, so we're gonna find and steal a getaway vehicle. So I'm just gonna go to A right here, it's probably the closest one. So we're gonna go to A and see what that location brings us. So I'm gonna fast forward, and once we get to A, I'll show you guys what to do. All right, so we're here, so we're gonna find and steal the getaway vehicle. I'm going to fast forward here and show you guys where the location of that vehicle is at once we find it. So it looks like this is the area where it's going to be at since there's a lot of NPCs around. So make sure you have your good weapons, body armor ready to go and keep that health up because you will have to restart and drive all the way out here if you do die. So we're just gonna take out these NPCs and see what we have going on over here because 
That's where I'm thinking there's a car if there's some people guarding it. All right, so you have to go up here and there's a little box that you're going to have to take out and there should be a vehicle right in this garage right here. So we found it, just get in it and we are good to go deliver the getaway vehicle to the garage. So we're simply going to do that. Just follow the yellow line and go to the yellow portal. All right, we're gonna deliver the car right here to the blue portal and we're gonna enter the garage. All right, and then we're gonna get out and then we're probably gonna have to get another one or we have to, oh, we just have to text Vincent here. So Vincent, and then we have the class name Polar LX and confirm and then we're gonna just leave the garage. And now we just have to leave the area and it'll be simply done. The mission is passed. Let's see how much RP we do get out of this. All right, so we get 2,249 RP. Going into our next setup mission here, we're gonna go to the police station, obviously, and then we're gonna go dis disorganize crime. So super simple and to the point, this guy. So smash that subscribe button, like the video, and make sure you have all the armor and weapons that you need, and let's get into it. So now we're just gonna go to the Cluck and Bell outlet. So we just have to go down the yellow path and go to the yellow circle. All right, so we have to hack all the cartel vans, GPS data to locate the cartel's van. So we just have to hack it to find the garage. So I'm guessing we just have to simply uh, click the right arrow and we're hacking. You just have to stay close to it. Super, super easy right now. And they're probably going to shoot at me if they have their door open. Yeah, just make sure you stay close to it. And I believe we got that one right there. So we just have to go to the next one. Complete all the hacking. We'll disable the van and allow you to access the Cluck and Bell disguise. So we're going to go to this next one right over here. All right, now we're by the van. Click the right arrow and stay close we're gonna hack into it here so just a little bit longer and just stay right on the tail of that van so they cannot shoot you all right so now we have to just go to the cartel's garage so just follow that yellow path to that yellow circle all right so we're going to the cartel's garage right here and we're entering it to be like a little cutscene. So now we're gonna sabotage the cartel's delivery trucks. So simply get a good weapon and get ready to fight here. You just wanna stay behind the actual crates over here. So I'm guessing you just have to blow up the actual trucks here. So I just use a grenade launcher. I said that really quick. I didn't know if you had to shoot it or you had to do something to the truck. So we're just taking out the witnesses and we're gonna make our way to find lockers here. We're gonna fast forward. I forget this last guy here. All right, so the card key is right over here, if I can get to it. It's on the ground, and it's a little green circle. So this is it right over here. Or we just have to grab the drill right here. So right arrow, it's on the clucking bell crate. And now we just go to the lockers, and we begin drilling the locker right here. So super easy, super to the point. So we're going to do R2 to drill into the locker. There, and we just go to the next one. It doesn't heat up to break the drill bit, so you can click as hard as possible on it. You can just keep drilling and getting money and all that. So that's perfectly fine if you want to just keep drilling. All right, so we're leaving. We can leave the garage, but I'm just going to keep drilling into these lockers here. We can get even more money. Then we're going to go to the other side and see what we can get from the other lockers right over here. And the last couple lockers are right over here, so we're going to keep drilling. So now we're going to leave the cartel's garage the way we came in. I'm going to fast forward here. So now we just have to leave the area, so take a car and just drive away. All right, we passed the mission here. We got $3,500 along with 2,511 RP. Heading into our next Cluck and Bell raid here. We're gonna go into our options. So we're going into the finale scene of the crime here, guys. We're gonna do it solo. So like I said, make sure you smash the subscribe button, like the video, and comment down below if you have already completed the Cluck and Bell raids. So let's get into it. Have your body armor, have all your food ready and ammunition that you will need. Super easy, we have it on hard difficulty for each time. All right, so we go, we need to go to the Cluckin' Bell factory right here, and we just have to take out this little box right over here. So boom, open that back up, say hello to my little friend, and take these noobs out. So pretty easy to the point, and you just wanna take all these NPCs out, and there's also on the wall, you see that power, and there's one right over here, this power box over there, if you can shoot at it, and boom, we are good, we are in business. So we just have to get in there, 
and simply get things going. So we're going to the storage. Not gonna say the actual word there below and get that body armor on. So make sure you take your time. This is solo on hard difficulty and the weapons here are pretty darn good that we got. So make sure you do get them. Smash that subscribe button and like the video. This took a lot of time to do and perfect for you guys. So take out that NPC right over here. Body armor on. It's going to, you're going to be using a lot of body armor. And make sure you take out these guys over here. All right, so we're going to insert the key card right into there. Don't worry about the other NPCs that are trying to come through. And we're going to do the right arrow to enter. And there's going to be a little cut scene there. So all that good stuff looted. We're going to go down there and see all this. So we do have a shoddy down there too. Make sure you take your time, body armor it up, and just make sure you don't die because you'll have to restart if you do pass away here. We're going to steal this stuff right here. We can't really say it on YouTube because the video will not get the views it should. So we're going to steal this. And as you can see, there's a ton of it. Breaking Bad here where they have the cluck and bell. I'm guessing that's where they kind of got it from. So we're going to steal all this too. And then all this on the other side. So there's four tables in total down here. All right, now we're going to exit the storage area. It's going the way that we came in. All right, so now there's going to be some more NPCs. So make sure you take them out really, really quick because they're going to be doing some damage to you. All right, so now we got to do this pretty quick is go and put your key into the store, into the actual little area right there and enter. But don't worry about the NPCs really, besides when you get in there and use your shoddy and make sure that you are using a ton of food and take out the NPCs as needed. So we're gonna search the area. We need to get a crowbar. Now we're gonna search the area here and open these boxes. We got that and go over here and simply search. We're gonna go to this side right over here, left side, open that box and there's nothing really in there. So the last one has to have all of the good stuff in there. All right, we got that, so we're good. And now we just have to get ready to fight some more and exit the storage area, press that right arrow, take out any noobs. And now we just have to go to the office. We're gonna go around here, use your shoddy, take these guys out. And then we're gonna go over on this side right here, go through the curtain. All right, so in here, so we really have to be careful of the NPCs. So they're going to be in full force when we go to this office here. So we're going there, we do not have a key, so we're gonna have to find the key. All right, so make sure you grab the key that's over here. That's what we totally forgot, it's on this desk right here. If you didn't do so, that's why we're at the office and could not get in. So we're just gonna go through here, take out any more NPCs that are trying to get you. Go through this area, this is where the office is right here. So we're gonna unlock it and then go into the office and then we're going to hack the computer right over here. And it's as simple as that. Using the hacking device, we're gonna find the safe code. So now we just have to find the computers where essentially the hacking codes are gonna be at. So right over here, we just have to go to them. And then this is a computer right here. So it'll say safe code data one out of three. You just have to find the computers that say that. Let's see if this one works over here. So you're gonna go up to the computer. If it doesn't do it, it is not the right computer. There's also another computer over here. Let's see if it actually works right here. No, it does not work. Actually, it does work. So we have two out of three computers. This one's right on the side of the chickens right over here by this door, by this red little uh, bell. All right, and then the last computer is right over here. So we have the safe code three out of three. Code is 725990, could change for you guys. So super easy and to the point. We're gonna run back to the office. Do not wanna die. Then you wanna go to the safe, 725990. All right, and then we have the safe open. So we just have to steal the cash inside the safe. And we're gonna leave the Cluckin' Bell factory. And as you can see, the heat is coming. We just have to take out this little box right here that opens the garage. And we're simply going to make our escape. So you wanna take out some helicopters, but you wanna ultimately get away to your getaway vehicle, but you do not wanna die. There's a ton of heat over here. So we're gonna run all the way over there and hopefully we do not die because we'll have to restart. So we have some more noobs over here to take care of. And we wanna get to this blue little portal right there. We wanna click the right arrow and get on the inside and get our 
car right here, enter the getaway vehicle, and we're simply just going to drive away and deliver the loot to Vincent. We're gonna fast forward to the end. I mean, you just do not wanna die. You wanna drive fast, have your body armor and food tab open. If you don't know what that is, health and ammo, body armor. So equip that and just have your snacks ready to go. So all you have to do is just drive to the destination to that yellow. Alrighty, so we are getting to Vincent's lockup. So pretty easy and self-explanatory mission here. So we're gonna get to the garage, see how much money we do make after this cutscene here. So he's rubbing his hands together and wanting the loot. So we're gonna fast forward until we get that money and RP. All right, so mission passed right here. So we were able to make 500K super easy and to the point, along with 2,900, 100, or 2,914 RP. So make sure you smash the subscribe button, like the video. I'm Croak and I'm out.